Hi all folks, this is Max from Galaxy S2 Root.com. That's my new site. Um, this is where I'm going to put all the rooting stuff for mm -hmm. Galaxy S2. This is the international i95-100 version. Um, first, what you've got to do is find out what kind of model you have. This is very important. So go to menu settings, uh, about phone, and if you go all the way down, it should have i90-100 and then a bunch of letters. Mine is XWKF1. XWKF1. Write that down, okay, because you're going to need it to download the kernels um, to root your phone. Okay, and after that, uh, actually, you know what, let's go to the our computer and go download it. Now go to this site. I'll have the links below this video or on this blog post. Um, it's in XDA Developers. Uh, this guy released a bunch of insecure uh, kernels. You can, I have links where you can donate to him later. Uh, user Odia, thanks to him. Um, there's a bunch of kernels you can download. There's an insecure version, and uh, if you go all the way down, original. You need both of them. Um, so, for the insecure, find the uh, one that the model that matches. Mine was XWKF1. So go download those that one insecure and also go download the uh, the original one XWK um, F F1 where is it oh here it is here it is so this is kinda important you gotta download the right ones alright don't download those two files uh, and also download um, Galaxy S2 root dot zip uh, I'll have links below on on this blog post all right go download those and then and then uh, you should uh, unzip them all and you should get a folder with uh, GTI 9100 insecure with your model number and also original one all right I'm just gonna leave them aside we don't need them right now and also if you un uh, unzip the galaxy s2 uh, sorry galaxy s2 root dot zip you'll get ADB tools, Odin, and the S2 root.exe. Uh, sorry, this method only works on Windows right now, but I'll have uh, another video on how to use um, Mac or Linux to do it. So once you've got those files, what you're going to go do on your phone is uh, turn it off. All right, and then we're going to put it into download mode. Um, by holding down the home button, volume down, and the power button. Um, what you want to start doing is uh, hold down the, well wait till the LEDs go away. That means your phone is powered off completely. Alright, and you hold a little vibration and then go off. There we go. Uh, hold down the volume down. And then, uh, well, you know what? Mine just kind of got in there. Let me let me actually show you. Cancel. Ah. Hold down the volume down home button and the power button after you power off. All right, and then you'll get to this screen, and then hold up the volume up, and it'll say downloading. All right, so that's it. Downloading. Next, go to Google and type Samsung Keys. Uh, if you don't have this installed, you will need Samsung Keys installed uh, for this to work. So go download it uh, for Windows. And uh, when it downloads, install it. So I'm gonna run the. Uh, I've downloaded the key, Samsung keys. Just run it, um, and then install it. I'll show you the progress here real quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead uh, and install this. And uh, I will be back when it's done installing. So Samsung Keys installation is complete. Uh, you don't have to run it. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna finish, right? And then we're gonna go uh, go open up Odin, right? The in the we don't need the browser anymore. Go open up the uh, Odin uh, version 1.83 here. All right, and when you open up Odin, um, you should now you should get. Uh, this thing right here, COM3, right? That means your phone's connected, all right? And then you're just gonna hit PDA and go find the file, um, the insecure one you found, right? Not the original, the insecure, all right? 
and uh, click on the .tar file. Mine is gt-i9100 underscore, that's the model number. Mine is xwkf1 underscore insecure .tar. And hit open, and then um, hit start. All right. And this will basically uh, flash an insecure kernel so you can install super user files. And then we're going to reinstall the original one after it's done. And that took like two seconds. And then it'll get into reboot and get into this mode, right? So what we're going to do is... Uh, uh, actually, it's, it's going to reboot. Just let it reboot. You're going to get that triangle uh, with the insecure. So I'll be back when it completely reboots. Mm -hmm. And when your phone reboots, we're going to run uh, s2root.exe. Alright, and bring that up real quick. Alright. Um, oh. Uh, make sure, go to your phone. Oops. And make sure, go to settings and applications and uh, development. And make sure USB debugging is checked on like that. Alright. And then we can start rooting. Um, this is just a one-click rooting method, so it should be pretty easy to do. And now we can uh, basically um, root our device. Um, so just hit root device, and you can also, when you want to unroot it, you can just uh, run this program again. Same method, just unroot it. So I'm going to root it, right? And it's going to start rooting and that should be it Some permissions and it'll reboot Second device rebooting device all right and once it's rebooted um, once it's if you want to get rid of this uh, triangle you can um, I'll show you how but it's it's you know you don't have to you can just use it. But I'll, I'll be back when it completely reboots. So I rebooted uh, the Galaxy S2, but uh, the super user app is missing. Uh, what you can do is go back and root the device again. I think it's some kind of bug with this one, but it should give us full root. Um, try to run it again, all right? And it'll reboot the second time if you don't get um, super user that is. Right. Oh, so I got it now. So the first time, for some reason, it didn't work. Uh, if it didn't, if you didn't get it, um, you can do it again. All right? And uh, it's gonna reboot. And I'll be back when it reboots. Mm -hmm. So I reboot it. Uh, let me see if I have super user. Oops. There we go. So I've got super user, and let me verify that uh, it can run rooted apps, like Wi-Fi Tether. And it should ask me for super user permissions. There we go. So I've got my phone rooted, uh, not my phone, sorry, Galaxy S2, my friend's Galaxy S2 phone rooted here. Um, obviously you don't lose anything while you root, so don't worry about it. Um, but I advise you to save um, everything, back up everything. I'll have a, another video on how to save this uh, exact setup. And if you need to unroot it, um, just run the S2 root program and then click unroot. And I'll have a, uh, another tutorial on how to root it using Mac or Linux, using a manual command line. And if you don't like the exclamation point um, at the startup, you can reflash the uh, original kernel that you downloaded. So I'm going to show you how to do that too. You don't have to, but you know, power off, all right? And uh, we're going to go into download mode, all right? When it powers off, uh, volume down, home button, home button, and the power button, all right? Let's get into download mode here. There we go. And hit volume up. Mm -hmm. and go back to your computer. And run the Odin program again. 
Alright? And then what you're going to do is uh, go back to PDA. And then instead of the insecure one, go find the original one you downloaded. And the dot, dot tar, tar file, right? And click OK and start. And when you reboot, it will reboot your device now. All right, it will get rid of that uh, triangle. See now it's clear. Um, so you got the uh, original kernel back, and that should be it. Um, now you can go enjoy your uh, rooted app, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Um, your subscription counts a lot, and uh, I'll have more cool ROMs and uh, hacks and stuff at or over uh, at uh, Galaxy S2 root dot. Calm. All right. Thanks, y'all. And subscribe. See y'all later. Bye bye. Actually, uh, um, you want to also install Clockwork Mod Recovery. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, power off your phone, and then go back into uh, downloading mode, and we're gonna flash the Clockwork Mod Recovery um, using Odin again. So when it powers off. We're going to power it back on using volume down, uh, home button, and the power button. Alright. Come on. And hit volume up to continue mm -hmm. and downloading. And go back to uh, open up Odin on your computer. And next what you're going to do is uh, hit PDA and uh, find the, f the uh, Galaxy S2 root folder and inside it you will find the uh, GT-I9100 underscore clockwork mod recovery underscore 4.0.1.4.tar uh, open that and hit start and this will install the uh, custom recovery um, so you can install new ROMs, backup new ROMs, backup current ROMs and uh, when this reboots, I'm going to show you how to uh, get into the recovery. Um, go to the market and go download ROM Manager, which is a free app. All right? And open it up. And uh, you should be able to reboot into recovery now. Reboot into recovery. Anytime you need to get into recovery and back up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll have a video on how to back up your current uh, ROM. All right? And uh, you can actually, after it, um, after it reboots, turn off your phone and uh, verify that Clockwork Mod Recovery is working by holding down the volume down, um, the home button, or volume up, sorry, volume up, home button, and the power button. And you'll get into the Clockwork Mod Recovery. Alright. And you can install new kernels, new ROMs from here. And now you have a, a rooted device, plus you have the Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, now you can um, use it. So, there you go. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, that's how you root your phone and also get Clockwork Mod Recovery. See y'all later. Thanks.